What we're going to do very shortly is we're going to unveil this blue plaque. We have here Anne Dinsdale, I'm very honoured to be beside her, the principal curator at the other parsonage, <laughs> the <Howard laughs> parsonage. Yeah. Anne is uh, a Bronte expert and an author of how many Bronte books now? Many, many, two. <laughs> One or two, yeah, a lot of Bronte books. So Anne has very kindly agreed to help us unveil this plaque. So we're going to do that in about 10 minutes. I'm going to give a speech first of all, and then what we'll do is we will disappear to South Square, we'll go straight down there. If you don't know where it is, just follow the crowd. It's about a two minute walk from here. It's an art centre, it's lovely. There are three galleries, all with exhibits at the moment. There is food provided by Plenty. There's a, a fully licensed bar, watchmakers. There'll be music, live music from Alison Cooper, who's a multi-instrumentalist, she's fantastic. And she's uh, composed some Bronte themed music for us and I'll be doing a reading and a signing so do come along the party doesn't end here it starts here it may not feel like a party at the moment <laughs> I should say that the events when we get down to South Square will be indoors <laughs> we've got a change of plan for obvious reasons yeah okay well I, I, as I say I've written a speech so I'm going to try and read this while not holding an umbrella so I'll see if we can do that <coughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> I am of the age now where I need glasses, so... So I'm going to read it. Okay. When we first moved here, this is me and Lisa, my partner, and Carter, my son, who's somewhere getting wet over there. When we first moved to Thornton in the autumn of 2000, the birthplace of the Brontes was owned by the crime novelist Barbara Whitehead and I'm sure some of you still remember Barbara mm. with affection and she restored many of the original features. The restoration had been a labour of love and she had assiduously researched what type of paint was likely to be on the walls, what kind of rugs, curtains, soft furnishings and so on. She lived here but she also opened part of it as, as a museum and a few weeks after the move I came and knocked on the door and I asked her for a tour of the building and she took me around and she explained uh, where the Bronte's lived and she told me about their lives and their writing as uh, Kathy, we couldn't decide, we couldn't agree on anything we used to meet in the new inn and basically <laughs> argue we couldn't even agree on the name for the action of it yeah? and I thought this is hopeless it's getting us nowhere and then one of these meetings at the new inn a big... they were young, they were creative, infused are you still young, creative and infused? <laughs> no, no more but they were them 
and I thought this could well be the solution and indeed it was. They opened up a cafe called Emily's as you can see there, the name is still on the door, which combined Italian cuisine with Bronte themed interior and it worked really well and it was fantastic. And they restored once again the original features the builder had covered up. And we became friends. Mark talked about his ambition to get a blue plaque fitted on the outside of the building and I agreed this was the right course of action. At the same time I was looking for a place to site the first stone, my Bronte Stones project and Mark agreed to let me cut a hole in the outside wall of the extension. This is a grade two star listed building folks and this man here agreed to get an angle grinder and cut a hole in the wall. So we're going to cut the cord folks. Well, not quite a cord, we're going to remove this sign, or rather annex. So, without further ado, we'll try and do this with elegance and style. <laughs> I'm not guarantee we'll manage to do it. <laughs> so, Anne, let's go over to this. Which way would you like to do it? One have to put a photo up, don't we? So, shall we do it like this? If you get that one, yeah. Look at that there. Uh -huh. Swing that over. Yeah. Remember, our elegance and style, folks. Yeah. 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 The toast to the Bronte's and the Bronte's birthday. Yeah. There are books for sale here, not this book, there are some other books, there are maps for sale here. There's still canapes, I believe. As there's still Prosecco? Yes, there's still Prosecco. Bush's 1978 debut with the refrain, and I won't sing this, you can that. <laughs> let me in at your window. It is in any case a portal to another world. <laughs> Yeah. Are you I to yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we used to. Uh, <laughs> 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 hey. Uh, Alex. Alex. Yes. yes. Alex with an S. Yes. Yes. I came to Ilkley to see you at the uh, when you did when you for Ilwill. Yes. 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 Yes.
Right, who was saying it to? Sorry. Uh, Sarah. To Sarah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it, it was one of those things where you thought, I should be laughing at this, because it's so funny. Yeah. Is this going to sound tight? Yeah. Lovely. Well, you know, I just always, I mean, yeah. Right. Okay, so when you sign this, to you run this? Uh, what song is it? Can you get a sip? The, the pale one. The pale one. Possibly. Yeah. Yeah, right. uh, To Stephen. Or oh, Stephen. With a pinhead of a V. Yeah. On to Stephen, 17 oh, years oh, young. 17 years young. 17. Oh, 17. It's his birthday this week. Oh, wait, has he told me it was his birthday? Yeah. 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 Wasn't yeah. he celebrating it tonight, actually? It was. I've got a little collection at home. Oh, it will be personalised for you. Ah, I've got a little shrine. Where? <laughs> In the event you're in. Yes. Yeah. 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 I've heard that before. Well, no, because I'm saying that because Adam. Oh, the guy beside him is Adam. What's it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you should have married him. You should have married him. He was a baby. A job. I'm in the Bible as well. What's the answer to that? An Adam and then an Eve. That's so funny. That's amazing. Oh, yes, that's amazing. Isn't that? You go on. To the bar. Too close. 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 Oh, she did, she yeah, yeah, she's oh, a great yeah. Yeah. She's a, she's she's a, a girl. Is she? Is she? She's she? She's been there years, isn't she? Yeah. 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 still the same place then. Yeah. 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 Yeah.